year three, you are in the hospital full time and the only patients you see are real patients. When we start our clinical years, we're on different rotations. So you do a rotation on surgery, you do several on medicine, um, psychiatry, paediatrics, and that continues throughout all the years. Our hospital that we work at the moment is UHS, so it's University Hospital of North Staffordshire, which is one of the hospitals of the future, and it offers the population state-of-the-art treatment, state-of-the-art facilities, and some of the best clinicians in the country. At the new A&E, there's a new helipad, and there is a, a theatre that's specially reserved for people coming in from the ambulance, and that's something you get to work and spend time in as a final year medical student. Basically from the ward rounds you can pick up a lot of things, how the doctor examines the patients, how the observation charts are of use to the doctors and they will find you cases and patients that you can speak to and they'll ask you questions based on that case. In the operating theatre you scrub in and you stand next to them and you help them hold the scalpels, you help them pull the muscles and stuff like that. Like helping with surgery, like holding the stretches, cutting stitches and then ultimately putting some stitches in and doing a tiny bit of surgery on their own. You really get an up close and personal sort of approach on the operation itself, you see everything. You don't only have direct contact and day-to-day -day contact with a huge city hospital, but you also have many smaller hospitals around. So you kind of get to see it from both ways. You get to enter the busy city hospital with all the specialities, with all the rare disorders. But you also get to go to Bradwell's Elderly Centre, which is very small and very specialised. I've spent most of my time within Staffordshire, within the Newcastle area. But I know um, other people in my year have been to Shrewsbury, to Oswald Street, to Telford. During the course of the three years, we don't just spend our time at one general practice. We do get around a bit, we see the newer general practices, we see older ones. We define a core part of the curriculum that all students do, but we also realise that different students have different interests and we provide opportunities for student selected components where students can choose what sort of learning activities they're doing. We're not only given a list of the 100 to 200 different specialities or different SSEs that we can try, but we're also invited to make up our own. But the list that they compile through every year is it's full of amazing SSEs with top consultants. This is great when you just haven't got a clue what you want to do. In the later years of medicine, there is the opportunity to do research, and then Keel will help you to find somewhere to conduct the research. And it was something that was really useful because it gave me the chance to practice skills, audit taking, that kind of stuff that you don't ordinarily get the chance to do at medical school. So intercalation is when you take a year out from medicine to study something else. It can be something related to medicine or something completely different. And it can either be at Keel or elsewhere and it just gives you the opportunity to study something separate from medicine. During elective, which is an eight week period in final year, you get the opportunity to decide where you want to study, what you want to study and anywhere that you fancy in the world. It might be that you go to a developed country such as Alaska when you're working with the helicopter team and conversely it might be that you go somewhere like Africa um, and it gives you the opportunity just to develop yourself as a doctor really. By the end of the fifth year, we want our students to be ready to qualify as doctors and to hit the ground running. For this reason, we've designed a fifth year with an emphasis on placements where students actually start performing the roles of doctors, but safely supervised with constant support and supervision by experienced, enthusiastic tutors. Keel has a staff student council that get together and talk about issues relating to absolutely everything regarding medical school. They give students a voice and already we've been able to affect the curriculum and talk directly with management of the school, which is brilliant. It is a very, very friendly place. I do think that's something to do with the Stoke population as well. I think that the population around here is very friendly and that is part of their personalities and it's part of the culture around here. The nurses on the wards are fantastic. They're very welcoming. The junior doctors have been there, done it. They know the feelings you're going through and they're trying to put you at ease. If you come here to Kiel, you'll see all the fantastic facilities. We're a modern medical school with a modern course. We have great teaching, friendly staff. We're in the best environment possible to make us into competent doctors, which is the goal for all of us who want to do medicine. I knew it was going to be hard work, but I think what is really nice is 
simply the culture of the university and the way in which we are taught it makes it fun and it's all right and it makes it feel like it is you can be at home here and you can be comfortable here and you can feel safe whilst you're learning some incredibly difficult things.